What's going on everybody? David Ornelli here coming to you live from my food forest. This is a very special edible garden that mimics the ecology of a forest and there are some very special mushrooms that are growing here and they're probably growing right near you too. And if you can make some tea out of them, they will help boost your immune system during this coronavirus outbreak. Let's do it. So welcome to the episode today about turkey tail mushrooms. These are very special mushrooms that have a ton of clinical research done on them that, uh, that proves that you can boost your immune system uh, and help protect you against certain viruses, uh, cancers, and things like that. Now, I will be very upfront, I am not a doctor. I'm more like a witch doctor, if anything, uh, a, a total fraud. I don't want you to think that I have any kind of medical knowledge beyond what I've researched from experts like Paul Stamets and uh, taken a look at some of the literature that he's referenced. These are very healthy mushrooms that um, have been used for thousands of years and you can make some tea out of them and they can help keep your immune system healthy right now. They probably grow right near where you live. So be sure to consult uh, an expert. You can take pictures of the mushrooms that you find and send them to like Facebook groups and help get them professionally identified. Don't eat or consume mushrooms if you don't know what they are or if you're unsure. If you're not sure, don't eat it. That said, let's take a look at this very special mushroom growing right here in my vegetable garden. All right, welcome to my vegetable beds. Uh, you'll notice that I did not make the boards uh, out of uh, something that I got from the store. I just used logs that uh, were already coming from certain trees that I had cut a little bit. And so I made the border, and I did this so that mushrooms would make their way into the boards so that we would have mushrooms growing in addition to the vegetables. And so without further ado, let me introduce to you the turkey tail mushroom. Uh, this mushroom grows uh, in a wide range of places. Uh, check, your, check your local listings, uh, but also make sure that you understand the difference between this and false turkey tail. Um, it's pretty easy to tell the difference, but uh, these have some very vibrant colors. It literally does look like a turkey's tail. And I'll try to get a close up of that. Very good colors. Um, they're kind of soft and they've got white pores on the bottom. So in order to make the tea, uh, you're gonna wanna get about a quarter cup of it. Uh, I'm just gonna take this one and take it with me. I'll take some from another spot. This one right here looks like it's... Okay, so here I'll get a nice close-up of that. You can see it's starting to go yellow, but it's the core of it's white. The tips of it are uh, getting a bit yellow. Time to go home. Go home. Get. Good girl. Okay, so not a bad harvest. Let's get ready to uh, wash it, dice it, and boil it, and then drink it. You'll notice when you pick it off the log that it's got some little bits of wood in there because it's because uh, the fungus and the mushroom literally eat the log, um, and that's how it stays alive. So, uh, so this uh, stuff kind of has to come off and. Uh, I really don't want to, uh, you know, I mean, you could get the mycelium in there. I don't think that, that would really uh, harm anything, but um, but anything that's very just barky, I just try to get out of there for sure. Anything you don't want to use, either put in your compost pile or give it back to nature. Now you throw all of it into a little tea strainer thing, or if you get a nice pot that has this already built into it, you can do that. Or you could just throw it in water and strain it later. Next, add in three cups of water. And throw your little turkey, turkey tail bomb in there. Throw on a cover, and we'll put this little guy in there so it doesn't boil over. There we go. Now you're gonna wanna let that sit and simmer for about an hour. Okay, so it's been about an hour, so let's taste it. All right, so it is ready. As you can see, it's got a nice yellow tint to it, and let's try it out. Tastes 
tastes just like uh, mushroom water, but add some honey in it, lemon, tastes really good and good for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. The taiga approaches something and is gonna take it out. Look at her ready to go. Oh, no, nope, no, nope, not going. There's nothing even there.